If you or someone you know has diabetes, you may have built up an excess supply of test strips and lances. That's where we come in. We'll buy the supplies that you don't need and resell them to those in need to prevent waste. Help us make diabetes management more affordable. Visit us at teststripswithaz.com. All right, joining me right now has a big fight coming up this Saturday, UFC 235, taking on Diego Sanchez. Happy to be joined by Mickey Gall. This happened last minute, and I always appreciate your time and patience, Mickey. How are you? I'm great, man. Always got time for you, buddy. Well, I appreciate that very much. So you are in Las Vegas right now getting the fight stuff ready to go. How's everything going out in Vegas as we're just a few days away from this big fight? Oh, it's great, man. It's great. I just got out here today. Uh, flew out with... Uh, up jitsu master Eve Edwards and uh ditch him up Joe Schilling and I uh, just got to see Jamie Gall got out here so I'm, I'm happy man I'm with all my people I, I just got to just go through all the stuff with the UFC it just ma- makes me feel great like when, before you get out here you're always like oh I'm about to go somewhere then you get here and I, now I'm home I feel like I'm fucking home now like I'm home now <laughs> here I am here I am I'm, 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 I'm happy serious man I'm, I just want to feel right right at this moment that we're talking I feel I'm at home do you feel like once you get into Vegas or wherever it is you're fighting, you know, like you said, as you're get, going through the process, you're like, ah, I got to go somewhere. But once you get there, do you feel like the fight's getting closer? Do you feel like you're getting more riled up as the, as the days progress as you land there? Uh, just more and more excited. Not riled up because, you know, I'm, I'm focused. I'm hyper-focused. I, uh, you know, the fight's not now, so I'm, I'm staying present. I'm chilling. I'm enjoying this. I'm hanging out. I'm seeing everybody, talking with everybody. Um, you know, to all my friends out here, and it's just, it's just good, man. It's just I'm, you know, I I know I just got look. I'm gonna I I know I'm gonna win the fight on Saturday. I just got to show up, and and I'm I'm happy to be in Vegas. Happy to be here. So more often than not, we were talking about this briefly when we got on the line. You call your shot, and you get what you want. You get Diego Sanchez. You call him out after the the win over George Sullivan, and it finally came together. Took a little while to get here, but how excited are you to not only be fighting this Saturday, but get the fight once again that that you wanted to have? I'm out pumped. I'm pumped. I'm really happy. You know, when uh, the UFC floated the possibility of me fighting Diego Sanchez last year, and I got that in my head, I was like, fuck, yeah. I was like, that's got to happen. I never in my life imagined, you know, being able to fight. Dude, dude's a legend, you know. He um first ultimate fighter winner, uh, just warrior goes to war, and uh, I'm excited to go to go to war with him. I, you know, I'm I'm very very confident. I know for a fact I will render him unconscious in the first round. I know either it's going to be my first UFC knockout for the first time he's ever been submitted, but regardless, he's going to be rendered unconscious in the first round. I'm gonna get my hand raised and we go party. You know, it, it took a little bit to get here. I know you. one of the things you wanted to do was stay as active as possible, you know, heading out of the George Sullivan fight. I know that was one of the things you talked about heading into that fight. Are you happy that, you know, I mean, you ended up getting the fight that you wanted, but do you wish it was a little bit sooner? I know there was talks about maybe getting you at MSG, maybe doing some different things with you, but, you know, at this point, you still got the fight. Are you happy that, you know, even though it took this long, you had the fight, or do you wish you did a little bit sooner? Uh, yeah, I would have wished it would have happened sooner, but... You know, it's everything happens for a reason. Something, you know, who, who, you know, yeah. I, I guess the, I, I would have wanted that, but right now I'm here. I'm happy with what it is. I'm, not, I'm not, you know, it would have been cool to have got more fights, just because you know I, I love to do this and I, I you know, I, I, there's a lot I want to do. Um, and but, but you know, I'm, I'm happy to be here right now. Um, it's, it's right, right. Everything's perfect. I got enough time. I got more than enough time. I just, bro, my. It's, it's gonna be fun watching the evolution. You know, uh, I'm excited to put on, to perform, get out there and show what I could do. So, what have you been up to? I know heading into the Sullivan fight, you changed things up. You hung out. You're doing stuff with Joe Schilling. You went and you were living with Eve Edwards for a little while. What is this time off, getting ready for this fight, been like? What have you been doing? Yeah, Eve Edwards is sitting right next to me right now. Uh, we're still, uh, we still got that place in LA. Um, training with him every day training with uh, Joe Schilling every day. Uh, those guys and David Adiv uh, will be in my corner for this fight. Um, um, yeah, you know, I, we've, we've just been going to work. I got, you know, got great guys, great guys around me. Uh, I got great people around me, and I'm, uh, you know, I, I just uh, feel great, man. 
You ended up with Diego, but there seemed like there was some different opportunities that could have potentially came your way. I know there was a lot of chatter between you and Mike Perry. Was that fight ever discussed between you and Perry, or is it always Diego from you know the the minute you started talking to the UFC about your next fight? <laughs> well, like we said, I, I was a little impatient. Like I wanted to fight, I wanted to fight, <laughs> um, uh, I wanted to fight. So when Diego they offered the fight, originally they were like Diego said no. So I was like, all right, we need someone else. Perry happened to pop and shit so i was like all right let's really you can fight so yeah i asked Sean shelby for that fight but uh it didn't materialize and this one ended up materializing coming to fruition so we're uh so we're doing this you know and, and this is it's great this is, this is the fight i wanted this is uh so yeah we're gonna rock a lot of fights to be had though you know there is a lot of fights to be had. It's it's early in the year, and I know heading into the Sullivan fight, you know, you just kind of wanted to to wipe the slate clean. You you change some things up. You know, we talked about your relationship with Eve Edwards and how important and how crucial that was for you moving forward. You know, what are the some of the things that you're looking to accomplish in the cage on Saturday? I mean, I, I always know you're looking for different things to to work on, different things to showcase. I know you wanted to strike a lot more in the Sullivan fight. Didn't really get that to that place, yeah. but you know, is that something you're looking to showcase more on Saturday on ESPN? Always, always, man. I've been, I've been, yeah, I've been looking to put, put that on, per, you know, put show my strike. And I always go to fight looking to strike. Just as, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Uh, you know, it's good problems though when you end the fight quick uh, with with a submission. But yeah, man, I'm gonna put all on this fight. Like I said, it's it's not going past a round. So I'm gonna try and put as much as I can into that one, one round. Uh, however many, uh, couple minutes it ends up being. I know. Heading into the Sullivan fight, we talked about you being on the prelims. You were kind of bummed about that. But now things have changed a little bit. The prelims are now on, on big ESPN, the the mecca for sports here in the United States. Does that change things up in terms of your mentality on where you're placed on the card, or do you still wish you were on the main card heading into the, the two title fights? Honest, honestly, I'm about to fight on ESPN. <laughs> ESPN. I, you know, as a kid, as a, an athlete, it was dreamed of showing up on ESPN. And uh, I, I'd, I'd honestly rather be here than on the main card. I'd, r- I'd rather be on ESPN. I'm get more people going to see me. Um, I, th- I think it's huge. I think the, the, you know, the UFC being on ESPN now the PFL is going to be on ESPN. Like this is great for our sport. Our sport's blowing up. This is going to be beautiful. Um, and I'm going to kick it. I'm, you know, we they kicked it off last week or a couple weeks ago. But I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really kick kick it off this, you know this week i'm gonna i'm gonna you know put a good quick violent performance on i mean you you talked about whether it's gonna be you know either the first knockout of your career or it's gonna be the first time diego sanchez gets submitted in his career you're pretty good at calling your shot when it happens how it happens how do you see this fight playing out when you close your eyes and visualize it happening and when it's it just just what i told you man he i will render him unconscious in the first round uh i don't know if it's gonna if it's if if he's gonna go to sleep by my punches or if I'm gonna put him to sleep with uh, with my chokes, but he's he's going to sleep. I gotta ask you this because I saw on social media several months back. Did you spend time in my neck of the woods? Did you hang out in Boston with Cerrone and uh, with Joe Schilling? Yep, yep. Uh, myself, Cowboy, uh, uh, Schilling. Uh, we were, we were up there uh, working on a, actually on a Mark Wahlberg movie. Um, so there, there's gonna be a new Mark Wahlberg movie going on Netflix. You can't, you, if, you, if you don't blink, you might be able to catch me in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. And I know you guys were, were talking about looking for a place to to watch the fights whatever night that was you were in Boston. Did you end up finding a place? Did anyone reach out to you and, and offer you a place to watch them? Um, yeah, yeah we, we, we ended up stopping by like, like three or four people's houses. It was cool. We just went through and surprising people. It was fun. That's amazing stuff, man. All right, I know it's fight week. Yeah, I don't I want to, Boston. Uh, Boston's a great time, man. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. I know you're doing me a favor and, and jumping on last minute, man. Mickey Gall getting ready to take on Diego Sanchez. ESPN this Saturday heading into UFC 235. Very excited for this. Before we get out of here, Mickey, if you want to do, you know we all, how we always wrap up these interviews. Shout out, sponsors, anything you want to let the folks know about, please take the floor. Uh, thanks, man. Just uh, catch me on ESPN this weekend. Uh you know, uh, yeah, let's do a couple shout outs. Shout out Sister Jamie Gall, Eve Evers, the Jiu Jitsu Master, Joe Schilling, Elder Boley, David Deeve, Sean Diggs, uh, Grace, New Jersey, The Yard, Muscle Farm, Canada Trading. Uh, yeah, man, look, you look, you give me shout outs. I'm going to start rambling. That's good, man. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, I meant to ask you now that you mentioned RJ's name. How did that? I know RJ was making his pro debut. LJ. It's about LJ, LJ, LJ. I'm sorry, LJ. LJ. Um, I know he was making his pro debut. He had a lot of people fighting uh, on the Maverick MMA card. How did that night go for you guys? Bro, well, we we did great. Um, it, it was a great night. Uh, all the pros won. Uh, our our amateurs lost, but that's that's the time to lose. And uh, our pro, you know pros that's the time to win. Uh, L, yeah, LJ starts someone real quick in the first round. Uh, it was beautiful. You gotta check it out. Check awesome. it out, LJ Raboli. LJ Raboli. I apologize, LJ, if you're listening yeah, right now. It's his, all right, LJ. It's LJ. Yeah, yeah, check out his Instagram, you, and you can see the the finish. All right, well, definitely, Mickey. Thank you for the time, man. All the best to you in Vegas, and best of luck on Saturday night. I appreciate the time as always. Thank you very much, Mike Hack. Talk soon, brother.